Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. And I'm going to say one last time, Merry Christmas. Now, some of you might be thinking, Pastor, isn't it a little late to be saying Merry Christmas? Well, no. Today is the 12th day of Christmas the final day in the season of Christmas. Tomorrow will be the Epiphany, and that begins a new season, the season of Epiphany. We'll talk more about Epiphany tomorrow. But for today, on the church calendar, today is still Christmas. It's the last day of Christmas. You know, our world has this habit of celebrating Christmas on the 25th, and then putting everything away and being done with it. But in the church, we take some time to relish the moment a bit. Because the reality of the incarnation, that's what we're celebrating with Christmas, is something that's worth taking some time to celebrate and not just rushing through it. The incarnation, what is it? It's that Jesus, God himself, would take on human flesh, would become human incarnate, would become one of us. And why is that such a big deal? Well, why on earth would God, the almighty, powerful creator of the universe, choose to become a poor, helpless baby lying in a manger? Why would he choose to take on the limits of human flesh? Why would he choose to, to give up his stone in heaven to be walking the streets on earth? Because he loves us. Jesus loves us so much that he chose to become one of us. Why? So that he could go to the cross and die to forgive our sins and then with his body as one of us rise from the dead winning for us the gift of eternal life Christmas is a big deal because it reminds us of how much God loves us that he would love us so much that he would choose to become one of us so that he could die for us and save us so yes, it's been a while since December 25th, but Christmas isn't over yet, not until tomorrow. So one more time, one last day, we celebrate Christ's birth, and we say, Merry Christmas. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your great love for us, shown to us in Christ who out of love for us took on human flesh, became a man, was born as a baby in Bethlehem. Lord, help us always to remember throughout our lives, not just during this Christmas season, but throughout the year, your great love for us, that you would love us so much to come into this world, to die and to save us. In your name we pray. Amen. One more time, I'll say it. And then we'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Amen.